Hello, my lovelies. Here we are doing the tarot series, and we are now here with the magician, as you guys can see. I hope you guys are doing amazing. I hope you guys had an amazing Christmas. Uh, happy Yule to everyone, and I want to wish you guys happy holidays. Uh, hope that this new year brings to you guys everything you could ever hope for. All right, so let's get into the tarot series with the magician. Um, so... Hopefully you guys have seen the fool, and now we are continuing here with the magician. As you guys can see, the number one in every single deck. Um, when you see the magician, I want you guys to really think of the words that come to mind that represent the magician is I am doing. And the the magus is power, which is the magician, el El, uh, el mago, right, in Spanish. Um, this is a planetary trump that represents the planet of Mercury. The Hebrew letter Beth, which represents house, and the tree of life path number 12, and the understanding or the getting of wisdom and knowledge. The true self is the meaning of the true will. So what that represents is knowing thyself and the knowing thyself is through the way. Meaning, we spoke about the fool in lesson one and this is obviously lesson number two. Uh, it is the following of from the fool going to the magician or think of it as the fool becoming um, or going or meeting the magician. And this is all to do with um, the fullest progression uh, through experience uh, becoming the magician. It is denoted the number one and it is symbolic with new beginnings and opportunities. You can make um, anything happen with the magician here. You have the power to do so and it is all to do with manifesting through your will. It is knowing what you want and making it happen. A period where you are co-creating your best life. This is bringing, um, this is bringing about the power of the will, um, and the will has everything to do with, you know, knowing, seeing, believing, um, putting forth that type of energy. And what we see here uh, with the magician is exactly you know exactly doing that it's making it happen um it is making manifestations come into reality it is the co-creating part it's a period where you are co-creating your best life bringing thoughts into reality it is a creative discipline uses existing tools and skills that you have or that you're naturally born with um, the key words to think of when you are looking at the magician card here in any reading, it is manifesting, it is resourcefulness, it is willpower, power in itself. It is creativity and inspired action. So when we look at all the symbolizations that come with this card, um, there is a lot of a lot of wisdom and a lot of knowledge that the fool has gone through in its journey to become the magician. And the magician is knowing that power or knowing that you are capable, um, that everything that you seek in the outer world, you possess within yourself. As we can see here, uh, the magician is wearing a white robe, and this is to do with clarity. Uh, or the clarity of purpose, the clarity of what you're wanting to create in your life. This is to do with innocence, purity, and spirituality uh, within the person. Um, this also with the white, with the white wand, if you can see, it is a double wand. Or as you guys can see here in, in every single card, um, the wand is representative of the direct and clear channel through spirit. This is wisdom. Um, the understanding of as above, so below. It is the 
it is the going towards the physical and the spiritual. It is combining to or aligning both the physical and the uh, spiritual or that of your mind. Um, this is to do with, again, we go back to manifestations. The white lilies are a representation of the truth of purpose. This is also a representation of chastity, virtue. Um, the white lilies denoting truth of purpose, uh, having a clear and concise understanding of what it is that you're walking towards or that you're wanting to bring into your life. The robe is red, which symbolizes life. This is willpower. This is enthusiasm. Uh, this is vitality, life, blood, desire. This is the root chakra as well, which is a representation of base of security and survival. The red roses as well, as you see here in the card, are denoting passion. And it is the drive, you know, the drive that we as humans have to, you know, when you're inspired or when you're passionate and intense about something, you don't really hesitate towards pursuing that goal or towards pursuing, pursuing that person or pursuing that endeavor because you're following your passions, you're following your desire. So in essence, you don't really see, or there's, I should say, there's no real um, resistance there. And this is exactly what the magician represents. Um, now the yellow, as you can see here, um, much of it has to do as well as with the full card. If you remember, there was a lot of yellow in, in the surrounding of the full. And this is much, like I said, like the full, it represents life and the life force. This is joy of life. It also represents the third chakra, the solar plexus, um, which allows us to direct our personal power as well as our identity and ego. The firm grip that he has here with the wand is in both intention and will. Because it's double tipped, it means spiritual and uh, material. Like I said, as above, so below. The number one also is a representation of the phallus. Um, the wand and the sword that you see here are a representation of the masculine and this is active energy and the water which is the cup and the disc is a representation of earth and it is receptive energy feminine symbolizes um, and the masculine symbolizes the need of opposite and contrast forces that are necessary to create our inner universe um, and to be able to fully manifest in the material aspect. The infinity symbol that you see here, it is also unlimited capacity for creativity. Two-way channel of manifestation. Whenever you see the magician in any reading, it is a representation of now is the right time to take action. Now is the time to fully believe in yourself and to understand that anything it is that you're wanting to manifest or that you're wanting to bring into your life or that you're wanting as an outcome is not so much from without, meaning the outer world. It comes from within and knowing and understanding that you're worthy or deserving of what you want and fully being able to accept that to be able to see in turn as an outside perspective the manifestation of it so again it is the magician is all to do with confidence it is it, it symbolizes you know the infinity symbol the infinite percent uh the infinite um possibilities that you have there are no limitations for you to create for you to manifest for you to uh make happen whether it's in finances whether it's in career whether it's in love, whatever it is. It is the sole purpose of knowing that when you were born, you were born with all the talents and gifts that you 
will inevitably at some point in your life come to understand that you possess and use it to your advantage. And when the magician shows up in a reading, it is telling you you have everything that you need to manifest or to make things happen. It is not from outside of you, but from within. It is tapping into that confidence, that believing, that knowing that you can bring about whatever outcome it is that you desire. The raising of the arm and the hand pointing down is as above, so below, but it also represents the combination of the spirit and physical. It is the knowing, again, within yourself, right? It's almost as, as within, so without. You need to accept what it is that you're wanting to manifest and see it as a reality in order to be able to experience the outside results of that manifestation. So whenever you see the magician in a reading, it is telling you, you have all the potential, you have all the capabilities, there are no limitations. You are the one that creates those limitations because you were in your birth right you have all the gifts and blessings and instruments to manifest the life that you want at your disposal. And you have those within you. Whether it's, as an example, the understanding that we're all born with certain gifts that perhaps you don't necessarily tap into or perhaps up until now you haven't really fully tapped into, fully um, learn to, to, you know, master those, those gifts, whatever they are. Um, and when, when the magician shows up, it's telling you it's time for you to embrace really who you are, to embrace and tap into those gifts that you have. Because only in doing so will you a be able to experience or live a very fulfilling life. It is the being able to tap into the gifts that you were born with in this lifetime to be able to fully experience your purpose on this world or on this earthly plane. When the magician shows up in a love reading, it is the understanding that perhaps you have brought about a manifestation. Perhaps this connection it is much more deeper and more on a spiritual aspect because there was some type of manifestation, whether it was you or whether it was your partner manifesting each other to come and cross paths with each other because you both were aligned. It can also represent in finances that you need to really tap into what your natural gifts are. As an example, if you are starting your own business and it has a lot to do with promotion or with dealing with people or the public eye and you yourself have you know um have a tendency of being more of an introvert understanding your understanding your gifts and as an example being an introvert you could be very analytical you could be extremely detailed um you could be extremely blessed in the aspect of being able to see clearly where business is doing better or what are some of the products that you're producing selling more you're able to tap into that however that of uh, being uh or putting yourself out there to the public perhaps is not your forte it is understanding that there are tools given to you of knowing and exploring and even taking advantage of those gifts and the ones that you're not naturally gifted at is knowing that there are people or uh, let's just say uh, people that have an expertise in that of promoting or connecting with the public. So it is understanding and not limiting yourself. It is going out of your way to make things happen. It is taking action. This card is like the full, very, very powerful energy that it vibrates and it carries because its potential is limitless as you can see with the eternity symbol it is that of knowing and and like i said tapping into those powers those gifts those you know blessings that have been bestowed upon you and sometimes as an example if you're doing a reading for yourself and you have the magician 
that shows up. Perhaps you haven't fully tapped into or you haven't really uh, exploited some of the things that you're naturally gifted at um, that could potentially propel you into a more fulfilling, a more purposeful or meaningful life. And it is the need to tap into that. Now is the time to do so. When the magician shows up, know and understand that it is telling you exactly at this point in time, it is about mastering whatever it is that you're trying to conquer and taking the time, energy, and effort to fully invest in yourself to be able to see the ultimate results. Like we said with the Fool card um, in the first lesson that I told you guys, what's going to help you along the way learning the cards is connecting the characters or the energies to characters, whether it's in your personal life, whether it's in a movie, in a series, whatever it is, connecting those type of energies. And when I see the magician, what comes to mind is Houdini, for example. It was not only his art, right? Um, it wasn't so much the, the as an example, uh, when he would create shows and he would uh, perform to the masses, it, it would almost seem like everything he did was so effortless. But what people didn't really understand is that it took him years, dedication, fasting, uh, to be able to fully concentrate, meditation, tapping into those abilities that he had, and fully submerging himself and pushing himself even sometimes to the limit where when performing, it would almost seem like it was so effortless to him. But in reality, behind the scenes, he put he used everything that was at his disposal. He knew what he was gifted at and he completely submerged himself into the mastering of that art until it became almost as if he was a magician. Many people try to understand or to um, explain a lot of his, uh, ch the challenges that he would do, a lot of his performance acts. And even when first coming up, he was challenged by many that thought, you know, we could be better than him. We can do this better than him. And they would literally study him instead of studying themselves, tapping into their natural gifts to be able to manifest a more purposeful life. But instead, they went the other route, which was to critique him, to try to catch him and explain a lot of his performances. Uh, and in, 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 in doing so, what that created was a lot of mystery behind it. And mystery and anything that has to do with people that can fully explain something uh, are quick to create stories, right? And in doing that, it just gave him more notoriety. It made him almost untouchable because, like I said, many, you know, judged him, many tried to critique him, even study him, even challenge him, and they always lost. So again, it wasn't so much that it was effort or effortless, it was more to do with the effort that he put. So the magician is exactly that. It is mastering what you're naturally gifted at and you will inevitably experience success. But it's not going to come easy, but it will seem at some point that it's not much of a challenge. Why? Because you're following your passions. And when you, when you follow your passions in whatever aspect of your life, it has nothing to do with you seeing it as a job because you're passionate about it. And that's where su success comes from. So when the magician shows up again, know and understand that it is telling you, you have all the power and all the tools at your disposal to create whatever life you're trying to co-create. But it starts with yourself. And it is knowing what you're naturally gifted at. It is knowing what you're good at, what you're not good at as well. A lot of people, you know, we associate ourselves with uh, humans have a tendency of comparing themselves. And when you do this, you are, in essence, doing a disservice to yourself because 
there are many, many gifts and blessings and that you've been born with, gifts that you are naturally good at that other people may not be good at. So comparing yourself to other success is kind of like the story that I gave you of Houdini. It is about working on yourself. It is watering your grass. It is focusing on what you're doing and believing in yourself so much and believing in your capabilities and knowing that the potential that you have is extremely limitless. There are no limits to how far you can go in life. If you learn to focus, to put effort and energy towards the manifestation of what you're trying to make happen, and then you put a little bit of effort and success is inevitable for you. So like I said, the magician is a beautiful card because it is all to do with the potential of life and what we're able to co-create. It is about knowing and understanding there are no limits. The only limits that we have is what we ourselves believe ourselves not to be able to do or what we're capable of doing. And the more you believe in yourself, the more potential you have. So I hope that this gives you a little bit of a better understanding of the magician and what it represents. I hope that um, you enjoy these series. And if you do, definitely like, share, um, subscribe to our channel. And I'll see you guys next Sunday. Wish you guys the very best. Happy holidays, my lovelies. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye.